I am Nick Shell, a certified Enneagram coach. I'm sharing some things that I've learned from this book that I never heard of yesterday, but I saw it and I bought it on the spot and then I read it today, this morning. The Enneagram Connection by Keely Shaw. Now keep in mind, if you want to buy this book, I make it easy for you. There's a link right there in the description. It takes you to Amazon, it shows up on your doorstep. If you'd like to become certified like I am in Enneagram, there's a link for that. And if you're not sure what you, Enneagram you are and you would like to take a free test to try to figure it out, there's a link for that as well. And in case you didn't know this, the way YouTube works is it's always trying to figure out what you like, what you want to see more of in your feed. So if you click the like button, that thumbs up, it means that I'm going to start showing up more on your doorstep or your newsfeed. And if you subscribe, then I always show up, especially if you have to click the bell. But I don't want to scare you. I don't want to intimidate you too much too soon. You may have never heard of me until today, just in the same way I never heard of this book until yesterday, and here I am making a video about it. So let's take a look at this page right here, page 44. When I'm spiraling, I might, dot, dot, dot. What do we mean by spiraling? It means when you are extremely stressed out, you kind of at your worst and most chaotic, how are you predictably going to act based on what number you are? You may know your number, you may not but this will help confirm. So I'd love for you to tell me in the comments which jumps out at you at the most personally. When I'm spiraling, I might, if I'm a one, I might be overly critical and unable to get out of my emotional pit. If you're a two, become overbearing, intrusive, or codependent. If you're a three, when I'm spiraling, I might become obsessive about a current project or hide. Number four, when I'm spiraling, I might focus on others, become emotionally unreachable. Number five, when I'm spiraling, I might isolate, reject people I love. If you're a six and you're spiraling, my wife laughed as she read this because she knows me. When I'm spiraling, I, as a six, might lash out or ask for excessive reassurance. I used to be more about the person who would lash out and now I've learned now, like, well, there's more harmony if I don't, and, and there's less blame for me if I don't lash out. So instead, I kind of do I'm like, I need this reassurance. That's how I do. When I'm spiraling, it's true. There's no shame in it. This is how I'm wired. How are you wired? We're about to find out because we're almost done. Number seven, my wife. When I'm spiraling, I might try to escape or be impulsive. Number eight, when uh, I'm spiraling, I might with, withdraw, detach, or make myself extra busy. And then lastly, if you're number nine, when I'm spiraling, I might numb myself or become pessimistic. So there you go. Which one of those jumped out to you? I would love for you to leave a comment and tell me. I love connecting with people. My Myers-Briggs is an ENFJ, which I'm that mentor personality. I love connecting with people. I'm a six, therefore it's all about building a social network and feeling alive by connecting with people. Again, if you like this video, even if you kind of liked it like a little bit and like, okay, I don't wanna like see you every day, Nick, but maybe like every once in a while, if you click the link or if you, if you click the like button, That'll at least make me show up again. And then next time, like, don't want to see that guy's face. Don't want to hear his voice. And if not, just ignore it. And then I'll stop showing up. I mean, not because I, the human being, made that decision, but because the algorithm decided and you told the algorithm. This is getting way too deep. Sixes overthink things. So that's probably where that's coming from. Your comments belong right here.